Hey everybody, it's Robert again. I want to say thanks for watching. So today um, I'm going to have Joanna step out just for a little bit and Jesse too. We're going to do some measurements and the reason why we're doing some measurements is that I got a big mess of that stuff right there. What you see on the right is the Headstrong Ada Leaf and on the left is the TRD Pro suspension from a 2015 brand new. Really good deal that's been going on and I want to jump on it. So now People won't tell me or ask me, hey bro, you got a lift? Or what lift you got? And I'm gonna say, yeah, I got a lift, man. Check it out. So we're right here. I have a 265, 75 tire, so it's a little bit taller. Oops, get it straight, Justin. I got it. Yeah, Joanna. So right now I'm looking for about 35 and three quarters. This is my measurement. There. Let's go over here to the front, Jesse. We're gonna do the same thing. That one you can put to the edge. So we're right here, trying to get centered. Let's see where we're at. So the front here is a little bit really close. Let's give you a focus. 34 and 7 eighths. I'm trying to do the leaves before it gets dark. Um, never done leaves in my life. I've done suspension, not on a truck, but did a lot of research, a lot of reading, reading instructions, videos. Now I'm going to do my video about it. So stand by, guys. I got this one together. It was a pain in the butt. So I'm hoping I could get this other one done. I'm gonna be burning the midnight oil as they say. So what the problem is, it's not really a problem, but you gotta take this off. This comes off, the bolt comes off, you use a C-clamp, loosen this up, but there's a big bolt that goes here, which is kind of difficult to stick the longer bolt from the the uh add a leaf. So I had to kind of finagle it. I already grinded down the thing earlier, the retainer, so I could clear it. So now I'm just doing this. Now I gotta get the shocks in. And then the rear is done. And I still have the front, so um, I'm a little bit tired. I just wanna get this off of jack stands. I, I don't ever feel comfortable leaving it overnight, especially chalked up. Cause you never know it could be that guy comes by and messes with it so here i go I have successfully put on the ALL on both sides. The, this side was actually easier because it dropped more. I think what I should have done is try to work those lines over there a little bit better to drop the axle. If the axle went down more, and I think extra pair of hands, it would have been a lot easier. I spent a lot of time on that side. This side was really easy, I think, because I just had more to work with because it dropped more. One of the things, uh, headstrong, the nut, uh, the OEM nut on this um, C uh, U bolt 
it's a 19 millimeter but on this guy it's 22 and it doesn't fit perfectly straight in there you have to kind of bend it around but it still works it's just a little bit uh, needs a little bit of finagling so now I'm gonna bolt up the shocks and I should put this excuse me, OEM I think a 4100 the Toyota as you can see and let me show you what these look like inside it flip it on not only has a reservoir for cooling oil cooling you can see it's definitely a, a size difference on it so um, size does matter guys all right so time to slowly work on installing this uh daytime hopefully i could do the fronts all right right here i'm putting on the reservoir mounts and uh, the hole is actually a perfect fit so there's no drilling or cutting that's necessary you're just going to use some loctite put in the two bolts the washer and the plate in the back and just tighten it up here i'm putting in the shock i'm bolting down the bottom part first and then i'm putting the bushings and the supplied hardware on the top I need to compress the shock and then insert it, and then bolt it down. All right, it's four and a half inches here, 115 millimeters. So that's snug as a bug. I'm gonna patch this up or bolt this up here, bolt the one down here. Now I'll be working on the other side. There's a couple spacers I gotta work on, but um, I got the damn thing done. Guys, I wanted to show you the difference between the two, the stock and the, uh, TRD, you can see that there's a huge girth difference here. Um, what, one and a half inch? I think this is 2.6. So you can tell it's a lot beefier. This spring, this is the right side. Um, so there's two perches. Perches? Perches. And uh, this one's on the lower one because the taco lean is on the driver's side. So uh, that side is higher. So that's the difference between the left and right. It actually says so on the box. It also says so here. I think it means right front. So it's pretty hefty. You can feel the weight difference. You can see the size difference. Um, I am not the best installer, so I've been stuck. I got some tips. All right, guys, I didn't record this part, so I gotta talk over it real quick. The way I got to it is I disconnected the sway bar end link there. Then you're gonna loosen two alignment cams there. Just loosen it. Now on the bottom you can remove two bolts that's going to drop the lower control arm up on top up on top you're going to remove the three 14 millimeter bolts you'll just slide everything down and then just replace it and work backwards to install so i didn't break anything yet which is a good thing i'm just a regular do-it-yourselfer like you guys nothing special trying to save a few bucks trying to learn things and um suspension's always been tricky it's hard to line up sometimes certain things and get things going so um, I'm happy that it seems to be working so far I just drove it down the street real quick to do a quick thing uh, this is a quick measurement what is that what is that 30 36 and almost 37 and in the back Thirty-eight, and introducing the new hard shell taco. I got two inches all the way around with this lift. Again, I left the overload spring on the rear for the other leaf. I think it looks great. What do you guys think? And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys real soon. Another one.